hello friends welcome to this practical course on e tabs in this lecture we will be applying various floor loads including slab loads water tank loads and lift loads first of all coming to the slab load for a typical slab as per is 875 part 1 you can consider floor finish value anywhere between 1 to 2 kg per meter square so here to be on the conservative side we are assuming 2 kg per meter square for the terrace slab in addition to floor finish we will also have waterproofing value of 0.75 so this will sum up to 2.75 kg per meter square please note here that we do not have to add the self weight of the slab since we have already modeled the slab in eters eters will automatically consider the self weight of that slab and it will assign it to our structure so for dead load we only will have the superimposed load that will be including only floor finish for the slabs now coming to the lift load generally the load of the lift will be provided by the lift company however in the absence of data you can consider dead load value of 10 kg per meter square so this load of 10 kg per meter square will be applying to our lift cabin slab also since you know that the lift is moving to and fro in the building so it also creates an impact load so we will assume an impact allowance of 50% so our total value of lift load will be 10 multiplied by 1.5 which is nothing but 50% impact load so this will result in 15 kg per meter square now coming to the live load for a typical slab you can consider a live load value of 2 kg per meter square let me show you this value in is 875 part 2 so here you can see that since our building is a residential building so you can consider that for dwelling houses for all rooms and kitchens you can consider live load value of 2 kg per meter square as per table 1 now coming to the live load on terrace slab you can consider as 1.5 kg per meter square if your terrace is accessible and if your terrace is inaccessible you can consider a live load value of 0.75 so since in our case the terrace is accessible so we will be considering a live load value of 1.5 for staircase you can consider live load value of 3 kg per meter square so we will apply the load of this live load of this staircase when we will be modeling our staircase in eters now coming to the water tank load so let us assume the per capita demand of the building as 200 liters per day and if you assume 5 persons in each flat and the total water requirement per flat is 1000 liters per day so since we have 14 number of flats so total capacity of tank that is required is 14000 liters converting liters into kilonewton so that will result in 140 kilonewton now this load of 140 kilonewton is divided on an area of 9 feet by 12.5 feet that is 2.74 meters by 3.81 meters so the load of the water tank that is 140 kilonewton which will be divided on the area of 2.74 by 3.81 so that will come out to be 13.41 kilonewton per meter square so we will assume an approximate value of 15 kilonewton per meter square so the load of the lift as well as the load of the water tank is 15 kN per meter square so now let's add all these load values in e tabs so first of all make sure that here similar story option is selected and select all your slabs like this by clicking on the slab there is one more option of selecting the slab first of all unselect the slab again press escape button 
go to select option then hover on to select and go to click on object type select floor from the list and click on select and then click on close so here you can see that all the slabs have been selected now since you know that for the terrace slab and typical slab the load values are different so we will deselect the terrace slab so here select one story option again and deselect this terrace slab and also deselect this slab for supporting the lift and staircase now all the typical floor slabs have been selected so we will apply a floor finish value of 2 km per meter square so go to assign hover on to shell loads and select uniform load pattern will be dead and the direction will be gravity and the load value will be 2 click on apply and click on ok so here you can see that a value of 2 has been applied now we will apply the floor finish on the terrace slab so go to the terrace slab and make sure here that one story option is selected select all the terrace slabs by left clicking on it this time again go to assign shell loads uniform we will enter a value of 2.75 since for the terrace slabs we have an additional 0.75 km per meter square of waterproofing so enter 2.75 load pattern will be dead direction will be gravity click on apply and click on ok so now you can see that on the terrace slab 2.75 is applied now we will apply the live loads so for typical slab live load value is 2 so first of all select all the typical slabs go to similar story option select all the slabs by left clicking on it now again go to one story and deselect this terrace slab so for all the typical floors live load value is 2 so go to assign again go to shell loads click on uniform this time the load pattern will be live the load value will be 2 direction will be again gravity click on apply and click on ok now for the terrace slab live load value is 1.5 since the terrace is accessible so select the terrace slab make sure that the one story option is there because we only want to select the terrace slab so left click on all the slabs at the terrace level go to assign go to shell loads and uniform the load pattern will be live and the load value will be 1.5 click on apply and click on ok the next load that will be apply is the lift load and the water tank load so go at the topmost level so as per our calculation the lift load and the water tank load both are 15 km per meter square so select the lift cabin slab and the staircase cabin slab like this on the staircase cabin slab we will have the water tank that will be resting on this slab and on the lift cabin slab we will be having the lift that will be resting on this slab so select both these slabs go to assign go to shell loads go to uniform the load pattern will be dead and the load value is 15 km per meter square click on apply and then click on ok 
so this is how we will be applying the floor loads so guys that's all for this video you can like share and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future update thanks for watching bye for now